believe that we need to find a way to engage Iran. They will always be different. We need to respect these differences, but Iran is a very large, important country. It is too important to ignore. Um, so I think not all negotiations are successful. I heard this one thing, that the former American Senate Chairman chose to be in the Taipei Global Security Council, 呃，第一次对媒体和公众发表演讲，表述自己的观点。那么有人说，这就是太平洋国际政策协会的公信力和威望所造成的一个事件。您是这样认为的吗 ？Let me before I answer the question, let me praise you. This is why I like to go to China because people. No, I'm quite serious. People are. Mickey said it. People are prepared. The fact that you know this, um, you know, I mean, this just happened, really. This happened less than a week ago. Uh, I walked into this meeting this morning at the end. Because that Zhongqian chairman is my brother. Well, I, I, I won't ask about your relation, you know, but maybe they called you to, to tell you about it. But it was in all the newspapers and all the TVs. Yes, um, it's interesting that the head of the CIA is from California. And the reason I believe he chose to make his first public speech to our group was because he knew that we would treat him with respect, uh, but we wouldn't agree with everything he said. He's not looking for a friend. He's looking for an honest broker, an appropriate open forum. And we were quite honored that, 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 he, you know, that he came to us. And it was a great success, and it was in all the newspapers. So we're, we're influential, not that we're very powerful. Uh, we're influential in that we have respect and people listen to us. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems to me that the that, that think tank in the traditional sense, a, 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 a factory where you produce research, you know, like the Rand Corporation where you have analysts sitting in their offices writing reports and analyzing data, you absolutely have in China. Absolutely. The Academy of Social Science, professors at the different universities and so forth. That capability exists. What's a little bit unusual about us, not better, just different, um, is that we are a volunteer organization of concerned citizens mm. who have expertise in this area, who are nonpartisan, nonpolitical. We get together through our own momentum and, and we simply offer our views to people that need to hear them. That's an interesting question and a difficult one. Uh, you know, the, uh, because it's a tough time, and those who have the jobs are hanging on, and those of you just coming out of college and so on want the jobs, and and and. Most businesses are not expanding right now, therefore not creating, creating new jobs. I think you have to, before you go into interview, my view of that is understand who you're interviewing, the person, but also understand their business. Uh, too many people walk in. I'm, I'm a lawyer. I'm in a, in a huge law firm. We've got a very big practice here in China, in Hong Kong, in, in Beijing, in Shanghai, in Shenzhen. Uh, we're all over China. We have a big practice, and uh, too many law students, people graduating from law school, come into us and don't know much about the law firm or enough, uh, don't know much about me, and therefore it's not very impressive. Those who walk in and know a lot about your firm and a lot about what you have done, first of all, it feeds your ego, makes you feel good, they know something about you. But second, uh, they know about the firm so you know they're ready to come to work with you. You find a place for them. Usually you will find a place. And I think that's part of the, the secret here. It's very difficult. You gotta you gotta put some hard work into interviewing. Uh, it's just another art of negotiation. What I always tell my students is be what they need, not what they are. Which which, you know, yeah, is, is is precisely trying to understand the organization and and, 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 and don't be the employee that they needed last year. Be the employee they're going to need next year. Mm. 
，呃，坎特先生再讲一下，比如说他们去谈判的时候，用什么样的态度啊？是是强烈一点，还是谦卑一点，还是哭啊？ I, I think you ought to be enthusiastic, committed, uh, 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 show you're ready to go, uh, put in a lot of hours, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not a question of being pushy or not pushy. It's a question of saying, I really want this. I really care about it. It's something that I've, I've wanted to do. Uh, uh, when somebody walks in and they don't seem very interested or they seem to be too laid back or they seem to be too relaxed, uh, you don't think they have the enthusiasm for the job. Mm. Or the authority to make the deal. You know, you need to be positive, you need to be persistent, you need to be patient. Mm. 请您做好准备，他们有各种各样的问题啊。谈笑风生，呃，研究生一年级好，呃，真是后生可畏。所以坎特先生急着退休是对的。As I said, I'm retiring now. 礼尚往来，这是坎特先生啊啊，深算，老谋深算，你看看。看来先生不知道什么意思，说真好看啊。广告之后，请继续收看小崔说事。刚遇到高手了，哇，又是你！健康聪明，一路领先，名医Wisdom。保护嗓子，请用金嗓子好片，广西金嗓子。冷酸
Is it marketable in the United States? Uh, is it done in a way that uh, will be attractive to U.S. moviegoers? There's no quotas whatsoever. And the Chinese movies that come to the United States are so good that, you know, people that like The Terminator, which is, you know, I probably will not see, probably would not go and see a lot of these Chinese films. The Chinese films tend to play in small theaters that specialize in art films and foreign films, so they're really not, they're not really comparable. Um, but there are no restrictions. I mean, the only restriction in the United States is market. If people, you know, if, if, if people don't make money showing these films, they won't show them. It's, it's simply a commercial decision. Facing the financial crisis, uh, one, on one hand, uh, we see the U.S. government uh, committed to uh, against uh, uh, protectionism on G20 in London. On the other hand, uh, the act passed by the Congress uh, demands the United States uh, government's officials to buy uh, American uh, goods, such as steels and automobiles. Uh, I want to listen your explanation on this. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you can't explain the Congress. <laughs> But the fact is that was changed. The language was changed. And it was changed and the language now says by American consistent with international law and treaties. Therefore, I call that the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. The fact is it has much less impact than it might have had. I'm sorry that it passed. But President Obama made sure the language was changed so it wouldn't have much effect. In fact, those who are, who are, are signatories uh, to the uh, goods agreement under, under the Uruguay round uh, aren't affected at all. It doesn't apply to them. Now, China is not uh, a uh, signatory yet, and, and when they do become a signatory, then it won't affect China at all as well. Hello. 对于这个事情的发生中国商务部认为然后美国这个行为违反了WTO的相关规则 啊，这刚才是。所以坎特先生急着退休是对的，因为他下一个谈判对手就是他啊。刚才是第一个问题，第二个问题。对，第一个问题就够回答的了，就啊，哎啊，请坐啊。I <笑> just retired. Uh, terrific question. All these questions are very good. Thank you for them. They're they're really very good questions. I, I know about that bill. That's not the way to approach the problem. Under the WTO, which I negotiated, the fact is in order to stop or ban a product from coming into your country, you need to have sound scientific studies which indicate, of course, there's a real problem, a real health problem. What we need to do between China and the United States, and all countries, frankly, but certainly China and the United States, is have common rules and regulations and standards and testing in order to make sure that no tainted products go from the United States to China or China to the United States. The way to do it, it's not the way to do it just simply to pass a bill and say we're going to stop, say, chicken parts coming from China to the United States. Uh,坎德先生发现这样一个特点没有,就是中国的年轻观众特别关心国际问题。这个好像跟美国的年轻人不太一样啊。他们个个都可以成为您的谈判对手。您做好准备了吗? <laughs> As I said, I'm retiring now. <laughs> Your show has convinced me that I should get out. I must say, though, that, that American young people actually are intensely interested Absolutely. in international affairs. And when I was getting...